Hey folks, look at what we have here. It's a, an old Yeso VL 7000 amplifier from the year 1988 or something like that. So it's a very old <coughs> Yeso transistor amplifier. I guess it was the first transistor amp built by Yeso. And it's fully automatic when it's connected to a radio like the FD2000. Let's uh, have a look. Tuning, automatic. Yeah, it's an automatic tuner. And uh, automatic band change. Mike made a good video from the inside of the amplifier. The mechanic. Inside. From the mechanic and uh, I will show it to you in a second. There are uh, stepper motors inside for yeah. band switching and for tuning. Very strong, yeah. very stable mechanic. Yeah. So let's uh, see what else we can do here. Here we have the on-off switch. The bulb is crushed. The lamp is kaput. Yeah. The bulbs are unfortunately dead. They are not working. Then we have the SSB RTTY switch. RTTY means it reduces the power to a certain limit. So you cannot run this uh, old amplifier in full power. Full power, by the way, is around uh, 600 watts all maximum. Not on all bands, yeah. Not on and all the bands. The bands 450 watts and 80 meters 450 and other bands 600 watt. 10 meters 600 watt, yeah. 12 meters 500 to 600 watt. So let's say between 400 and 600 watt uh, maximum power. Then we have the it's operate it's and... Should also be the center one. 100 watt, 100 watt from the transceiver. No. Let's see if we can... Ganz genau. Yeah, the old meters are working well. 100 watt exactly for the transceiver. Yeah. Then we have the tuner. And then we have a manual switch. Manual means you can switch the bands up and down. We can work on all transceivers, this amplifier, yeah. without cable. Yeah, that means you just need a PTT switch and an ALC um, input from the radio or from the amp back to the radio. And it's working. And let me move a little bit closer. Let's switch the band up. The switch, the band switch, is also driven by a stepper motor. We have an antenna selector and this is for the tumor, I guess. Yeah, the antenna relays in the external, not, not iPod, this external. Ah, okay, stuff. yeah. The antenna switch is not built in, there is an external antenna switch which you have to connect to you the amplifier. It. It's an external switch yeah. and then we have the tuner. For fine tuning. Okay, we are at 100 watt. Yeah, and here the uh, Let's SVR. Uh, see the SWR. And you can manual tuning here on the steps and automatic tuning. So let's do, let's do an automatic tuning, yeah. okay? No, you have to turn the tuner on. Let's start tuning. No. No. Stepper motors are moving. No, it's not a good tuner point. So start it first time. Yeah. So here we go. Now we have on the mouse to start automatic and finished. There so is also an overload protection. So if you have too much input power to the amplifier, it yeah. will protect itself. Now it's same. Uh, 18 um, watts. Uh, as, um, okay. Just a moment. Yeah, 80 watts is uh, 550. 20 watts. 
21 watts, 600 and, and 700 watt is protected. 700 watts and then it's uh, switched to it switched to protect. Yeah. And to reset the protection, you have to turn the amplifier off. off. Nicht zu schnell muss so, muss sonst schon Wait a couple of seconds. Yeah. Two seconds. And then on. switch and, it on again. And you starting 500, 600 watt on 40 meters, no problem. With 20 watts input. Let's uh, 550 watts. Stand a little bit longer with 550. Uh, actually, fan lever one is on. Let him have a hit of meter, yeah. Uh, around about 500 ish watt at the moment. Fan number two is on, or lever two is on. And yeah, it's 35 years old. <laughs> you can hear the fans, but to be honest, it's not so they bad. are not so noisy as expected for such an old amplifier. At uh, 550 watts, there is a uh, current of about 22, 23 amps, maybe. We are on the 40 meter band with the tuner, and if we turn the bad tuner SWR. off, yeah, we have bad SWR on this uh, antenna because it's raining. Um, let's turn the tuner off. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nope. And it's uh, protect. switching to protect. Yeah. And for thermal protection, if you turn the amplifier off, the fans are still on. So. Is the temperature well, passed? That's uh, that's really really cool. If you think about this, uh, this amplifier is uh, 35 years old. 40 years, yeah. This is really really fantastic. It's just a film maker.